Welcome back to the show, everybody. I thought today it would be neat to take a look at some of the natural variations of the timber rattlesnake. Knowing these natural variations in color and in some cases pattern is an important aspect of learning snake identification. It's as important as anything else. And some of these natural variations can confuse people who have never seen them before or are used to whatever lives in their region. Uh, this is a uh, Tim Rattlesnake from Oklahoma. This one's from New York. Dark phase, you could call it if you want. And in the Northeast, the Tim Rattlesnake spends a lot of time in the sun basking on these kind of rocky ledges in the mountainous regions of the northeastern United States. Here's one from Alabama, and we will talk about the cane break rattlesnake. This one here is more of the cane break variant. They have that rusty orange stripe going down the middle of the back. Uh, Alabama. And this snake is actually in its ambush position at the base of a tree, most likely rodents, squirrels, rats, and the snake has picked up on their scent trail and will patiently wait for its prey to come by. And here's another one from West Virginia, the yellow, tan, golden color um, with the black chevron shaped markings. And one pretty similar to the last one, this one from Tennessee. So these timbers in the mountains of Tennessee and that region have this look. Here's one from Pennsylvania. Kind of the typical, again, the typical mountainous dull yellow brown with darker markings. Pennsylvania. Here's a darker phase specimen from Georgia, or the Piedmont of Georgia. We can find some darker specimens, and these are also a common variant. Another one from Georgia, and this one's even darker. Wow, what a beautiful snake that one is. This one's from Alabama, more of the classic cane break look. Uh, these snakes are different from their northern counterparts. Same species, however, they do live a different lifestyle, different habitats, different ways of overwintering. Kind of this grayish steel gray with the rusty orange stripe going down the back and some of them get real pretty with pink highlights and I'll try to find a photo of those. Here's a New York specimen. This would be called the yellow phase. Kind of a sulfur yellow with brown markings. Here's another one from New York. Kind of an interesting looking snake. Very reduced pattern. You might call this one aberrant. That's a unique one. Here's one from North Carolina. Now here's one from Florida that has kind of that orangish, pinkish tone. Uh, another cane break. Gorgeous snake. Also in Florida, and check out that stripe down the center of the back, that bold, rust-colored orange stripe. That's a really good looking snake. And here in Connecticut, we can get some of these really nice dark colored timber rattlesnakes. I like to call these the Rocky Road phase. And here's one from Virginia. Again, more of a yellow phase with brown markings. Now, I don't have a location for this one, but I wanted to find one that has a more brilliant yellow coloration to it. 
Uh, here's one here. And here's another one with a nice yellow example. Very good looking snake. And on the other end of the spectrum, this is an almost completely black melanistic timber rattlesnake from New Hampshire, where there's only one remaining den left, and they will likely become extirpated, which means they will no longer exist in the state of New Hampshire. But what a beautiful melanistic timber rattlesnake. And Vermont has very few dens remaining, and they also have some nice dark specimens. This next one is from Arkansas. Dark head, orange stripe going down the center of the back, and a mix of browns. Another good looking snake. And look at the size of that rattle. So again, knowing these variations is a very important piece of the puzzle when it comes to learning how to identify snakes. So spend some time looking at different snake photos. Pick a species and then just search images of that species and check out all the different variations and start to learn those variations. And eventually you will begin to notice how quickly you are identifying these snakes. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on Facebook in the group.